What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to talk about my P106 100 rig. So I had, in a previous video, I had the uh, load average error. I thought I had it figured out. I thought I had it fixed. Apparently I didn't, and it started erring again. Same thing, load average error. Uh, the system would stop mining. It would stop reading the cards. Uh, one card in particular it was my GPU-3, which was my uh, second one to the right of the rig wasn't uh, getting picked up sometimes the rest of the card would the rest of the cards would so I did a few things to troubleshoot first things I like to do if I notice that it's one specific car I usually just change the riser first I usually have a few laying around that I, that could be working I, they're not all tested but I usually just change out one that I have laying around uh, I know they're all like cheaper risers or not the any anything really special but I'll change that out first see if it fixes the issue uh, other than that, I mean, you can change a cord on the power supply. I haven't done that yet. I do have some extras laying around, but I didn't have to do that in this case. And then after that, I, I looked at actually the motherboard. Uh, and in this situation, I believe it was my motherboard. So that PCI lane that it was on, I, I, for some reason, I think was having, having some type of error where it was throwing that load average. So what I did, you can see here is... I took it out of the one slot it was in, so you'll see a gap between where I have my risers plugged in. I moved it to the one all the way on the right. Uh, and so far it's been a few days, the miner's been up and mining at 100%. So let's go inside the computer, go inside it and see, I'll show you the actual rig mining right now. It's mining Ethereum along with my P104 rig. So let's check it out real quick. All right, so here we are inside the monitor. You can see here, 117 mega hash a second, uh, not too bad. The power consumption is 77 watts. I did up this from 75 to 78 on all the cards. Uh, that was just because of the load average error. I think I could get it down to 75 where I had it before without it, but I don't want to mess with it because it's mining so consistent now, and I'm at that 100% ratio as you see up here. Uh, over 2,000 accepted shares, so the ratio is pretty good. I'm on Phoenix Miner inside of Hive OS. Uh, so you see it's been booted three days ago, and then the miner up times 22 hours and 39 minutes. The reason this isn't three days is because yesterday I updated the miner, so you see how this is up to date. Uh, and I'll, I can make a video if you guys want to see it on how to update the miner. It's very easy, very simple. It'll be a very short video, so maybe I'll make one of those because you can actually do it from your cell phone which I did while I was at work the one day but I'm on Phoenix miner uh, before I say this is issue free and I'm gonna explain why I say it's issue free right now I'm not having a single issue 100% it's mining has been solid at 117 mega hash a second temps are pretty decent six a couple in the 60s a 63 uh, so not too bad Right now, it is getting up to about 82 degrees Fahrenheit in my basement where I have these. But let's get back to why I say this is, uh, why I say that it's relatively issue free, issue free. When I first started, after I changed over the port, the PCI lane that my riser was plugged into, at first I was on G minor. I had this set to G minor, mining Ethereum Hive, on the high pool and I was about 97% accepted uh, ratio so obviously 97% and while some may say that's still good I had to troubleshoot that so this was actually very a quick fix for me I switched it to Phoenix miner just to try it out and it's been 100% since now the other thing it could not have been a quick fix but in my situation was it could have came down to my overclocks here. But I did not have issues with this when it was on Windows with this overclock. I didn't have issue with this power on Windows. And when I first started this rig, I didn't have issues with this power or this overclock. So that's why I didn't want to go tweaking my overclock. So I switched miners and that worked for me. Now I'm not saying that'll work for everyone, but that worked for me. So you can see 100% efficiency. 100% efficiency for all of them but my P10 my P106 100s what we're really talking about today and those are just the steps I took 
uh, you know, there's other steps you can take. You can look at your power supply, look at your risers, look at how the gravity source is getting power, look at your overclocks, look at your power settings that you're, you have on your overclock, and then also look at your motherboard in general to see if that might be an issue with that failing. Uh, this one that this is on seems to be the motherboard I've had the most issues with. Uh, it's an ASRock H81 uh, mining motherboard. My other one has been rock solid. It's been great. My other ASRock H110 Pro BTC has been been solid. So this is the only one I've been having an issue with this motherboard. As you can see, the H81 Pro BTC down here. Uh, it's not an ASRock issue. I think it's just, you know, the luck of the draw, the silicon lottery of it. But since I only have a five card rig, I had that one extra PCI slot, so I utilize it and it's got this one stable. So right now I'm gonna leave this one as is, it's pretty stable. Um, until I start having issues, I'm not gonna mess with it, I'm gonna leave it. Right now I'm pretty happy with where my mining farm is right now. Uh, so let's look at what it's doing though profitability wise at 117. So if we come here, it's 5, 10, 60s. I'm at 117. I am actually at roughly, yeah, 450 watts is about where I'm at after the idle. We'll say 460 to be safe. So it's still, oh, I'm only on compile. So the mine Ethereum. So I'm still profiting off this. So Ethereum Classic has actually been very profitable. And... I would think about switching it back. But the payout time for me was taking a while. Uh, I know the hash rate has gone up since then because they've been doing a lot to solve the 51% of tax. But right now I'm gonna leave it on Ethereum. Uh, I do plan on probably switching some stuff to Ethereum Classic, but for now it's gonna stay on Ethereum. So I'm still profiting at $1.73 a day. Uh, pretty good. But like I said, this 15 cents per kilowatt hour is not what I pay. I did pay this at one point before I started crypto mining. And then once I started crypto mining, I started realizing, you know, holy crap, this adds up real quick. So I pay a lot less than this now. Uh, and I monitor this through my energy provider and I switch it often to different energy providers or different companies that provide the energy through them just to keep it as low as possible. But $1.73 a day is not too bad. So, as long as it stays stable, we ha I'll have no issues. Uh, I know over the weekend, I was out on a backpacking trip, and my rig actually went down and crashed. Uh, so I lost about a day of mining. So I had this thing idling at its idling temperature, or idling, not temperature, idling wattage, just costing me money for no reason. So, you know, I mean, that's the steps I took to fixing my rig. Right now, it's stable. It's holding rock solid. Uh, you know, I hope you found this video helpful. Maybe if you're having issues with your mining rig, it'll give you a little bit of insight on how I would troubleshoot it and give you some insight on how to troubleshoot yours. Uh, hopefully, if someone does have run into some problems like I was, this helps them fix it. You know, thanks for checking this video out. Stay tuned for more. You know, smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, stay tuned for more on my crypto mining rigs and more on you know, just gaming PC in general and tech, tech news. Thanks.